how to get high quality audio using this tiny lavalier microphone that's what we are going to talk about in this video let's get started hey what's going on guys tanmay here welcome to my channel i make gear and gadget reviews smartphones drones cameras and microphones and pretty much other consumer tech so if you like such topics definitely check out my channel and do subscribe and in this video we're going to talk about how you can level up your audio game in the most affordable way especially if you are a beginner so when you are creating any kind of content which requires audio the audio recorded from the internal microphones of your smartphone of your action cam of your dslr or mirrorless camera is generally not that high quality so especially if you are recording a video like this where i'm you know sitting and talking you're making tutorial videos you're making educational content you're vlogging you're making a run and gun travel vlog so in that case the audio being recorded on your video recording device be it a action cam be it a dslr be it a pocket cam is not going to be up to the mark and it's also going to record a lot of background noise especially in a noisy scenario so that's where external microphones come into picture just to give you an example right now the audio being recorded is recorded on this rode video mic shotgun microphone which is much better compared to the internal microphones of this video recording device which is the dji pocket 2 just to actually give you an example put on earphones and you'll really understand the difference I'll switch on to the internal microphones on the video recording device. And now what you're listening to is the internal microphones, the audio recorded on the internal microphones on the pocket device and immediately you will notice that the audio being recorded on the internal microphones was not as good as the audio coming from this shotgun microphone. So let me switch back to this shotgun mic. So now that you've got a quick glimpse, how can you improve your audio game in the most affordable way? So this video is more geared towards beginners but it is also applicable for every other person who is creating some kind of content where audio is important. So that's where lavalier or lapel mics come into picture. So this tiny microphone which generally is clipped on to your you know t-shirt or shirt is called a lavalier microphone. It is also called a lav mic, a lapel mic, a body kit mic kind of thing and the interface that it comes with is basically a 3.5 mm jack which goes inside your camera generally your cameras have a 3.5 mm jack input nowadays smartphones don't have that so you can have an adapter which takes that 3.5 mm jack and you know you just put it in one way and the other side is basically usb c now this goes in your smartphone and now you have external microphone recording so lavalier microphones are generally the most affordable solution and i got my microphone around 500 rupees i think it was a company called maono i'll just put the links in the video description and this is an amazing device especially comparing the internal microphones of your recording device so what i'll do is i'll just connect this to my dji pocket 2 that is recording the video right now and then we'll compare the internal audio and we'll compare the external lavalier microphone audio Okay, so right now the audio that you're listening to is coming from the internal microphones of the DJI Pocket 2 video recording device and if you're listening this via earphones, you'll clearly notice that it's not that high quality. But now let's switch to this lav mic. I'll just clip this lav mic onto my collar and then we'll have a listen. Okay, so now I've connected the lavalier mic the lav mic or the lapel mic we'll just call it lav mic and immediately you can hear the audio being much more better and that is because the lavalier mic is very close to my face that's the sound source that's the audio source and the closer you are to the audio source the better the audio being recorded and the background noises are now going to be a little bit less and suppressed over my actual voice so this is the difference that you can immediately get with external microphones especially a very affordable and cheap lavalier microphone and that is why i feel this is the best microphone as a beginner to start off making content kind of like this or even you know if you are running and gunning and vlogging even then you just have to manage the wired connection but as long as it's in the limits of the wire the cable is generally very long you just have to manage it you can easily do this in your travel vlogs as well so right now i'm outdoors and recording this video with the internal onboard microphones of the DJI Pocket 2 
and right now i'm in a very quiet and silent background kind of place where there is not a lot of noise so this is what you can expect from the internal microphones now let me switch to the lavalier microphone so i'll just add this and then you can uh, listen to the improved audio quality okay so now i have the microphone plugged in and now what you're listening to is the external microphone that is this lav mic which i have you know held close to my mouth and of course you can hear the significant improved audio quality from this video and this is what you can expect out of a lav mic okay so let me know in the comments whether you can uh, hear some significant improvement in the audio quality so now i am like 2 feet away from the camera and this is what the internal mic will sound like which is not really that good so now i'm at the same distance but i have connected the lav mic and definitely the audio quality is going to be much better because i have held the lav mic near me so the audio is recorded from this microphone and not the internal microphones of the pocket 2 device so quickly talking about the positives about this lav mic the first and the very obvious one is it's very affordable compared to other expensive microphone solutions by the way we have different different types of microphones and they range from couple of hundreds of rupees to thousands and thousands of rupees and that price can go very high very quickly so as a beginner i would not recommend expensive microphones you can pretty much get amazing audio quality just using this lavalier microphone and doing a little bit of soundproofing and managing audio a little bit and being aware of where you are recording the audio from so that's one positive of this lav mic second positive is it's plug and play and very easy setup meaning that you simply plug this 3.5 mm jack into your camera and immediately this is recognized as an external microphone you don't have to do any other external software installation or you know any other setting immediately this is uh, recorded and registered as a microphone and you can start recording audio the next good thing is that generally when you clip this near your collar or you know your backpack strap the position from your mouth to that microphone remains static and it's very close to your mouth that is close to your audio source so it records very high quality audio because that is what this lav mic is designed for to pick up patterns or pick up audio closer from the source okay because the farther you take this away the audio quality is going to significantly drop okay so you have to make sure this is closer to your face in fact that is the case of most microphones another advantage of this microphone is that it is very portable and lightweight and it is also low key and ins- inconspicuous so it's not going to grab a lot of attention especially if you are wearing a dark shirt and if i just you know attach this over here and route this cable inside my t-shirt it will not grab a lot of attention in fact many people will not even notice this so it's a very portable lightweight and you know inconspicuous less attention grabbing kind of device which i actually prefer that's how i would like to you know go outside and record videos as well i don't want to grab a lot of attention and lastly this also generally doesn't require external battery power when you plug in the 3.5 mm jack that's how it draws the power you don't need extra batteries or external charging for this device so these were some amazing pros and i think there are some cons that we need to talk about one is that this can generally only record omnidirectional audio so what do i mean by that so microphones generally have a pickup pattern and what pickup pattern is is the way it records audio so for this shotgun microphone that you're listening to it has a super directional pickup pattern wherein that the audio being recorded directly from the front is recorded more significantly compared to the audio coming from the sides so audio coming from the sides that is the left right and back is kind of suppressed and more emphasis is given for audio recording coming from the front so that's a pickup pattern which is generally the quality of shotgun microphones lavalier microphones generally have a 360 degree omnidirectional pickup pattern meaning that it is recording audio equally from all sides in a 360 degree way there are other microphones like condenser microphones uh, kind of like a usb condenser microphone if you've seen a blue yeti i have that right now it's just stuck inside the cabinets basically that has multiple different pickup patterns it has a cardioid pattern where it wherein it records audio 
from the front more it has a stereo pickup pattern meaning that whichever side the audio is coming from that is the side that you will listen in your ears so if the sound is coming from the left then in your earphones when you are actually seeing the video or listening the listening to the audio it will also feel that the sound is coming from the left so that's stereo pattern then there is kind of like a two way pattern that is front and back and then there is omnidirectional so there are multiple different pickup patterns okay and the drawback of this uh, lavalier microphone is that it does not have different different pickup patterns it's not really a drawback it's just how this lav mic is made okay so that's something that i wanted to tell the other thing is that because most lavalier microphones are pretty cheap and of course there are some expensive ones as, as well compared to something like a shotgun microphone the audio quality is not going to be as good as a shotgun microphone but to the layman or to general people or someone who is not a audio expert he or she may not be able to make the difference okay so this also records very high quality audio and very few people will be able to actually tell the difference between audio being recorded on lav mic or a shotgun microphone or any other type of microphone okay so don't worry about that as a beginner lavalier microphones are amazing another drawback or potential con is because this is a wired connection of course you cannot go farther away from the device and that's the limit which is basically the length of the cable so a work around way to make this device a wireless device is to connect the 3.5 mm jack to a audio receiver okay so there are audio receiver devices like a field recorder which which have a 3.5 mm input and you can connect this and record audio separately on that device and then when you are editing the video you can sync the audio of the video camera with the audio recorded on the field recorder that is what i generally do and that is what i am going to do in this video as well the audio is recorded separately using the shotgun microphone and then i will sync it with the video later on when i am editing the video so another quick important note as a beginner you should remember or know about lav mics is when you attach them to your collar or to your shirt or to any cloth when you are moving around especially if you are traveling and vlogging generally these kind of you know scratch on your on your t-shirt and that makes a rustling sound and that can be picked up when you're shooting video you may not notice when you're recording the video but when you actually get to editing that is when this audio will be picked up and you'll realize that the audio quality is messed up because of that scratching sound okay so make sure it is a little bit separated from your body and it's not rubbing around your body all the time so these were some minor cons these are not very significant ones Uh, and they should not hinder you from making a purchase especially as a beginner as i said if you are on a tight budget i got this microphone for around like 500 bucks uh, i'll drop the link of some microphones lavalier microphones that i know are good quality in case if you want to check out and to conclude this video these microphones are great for home studio setups kind of like this one where the distance between you and the camera is not changing all the time you can also use this in travel vlogging you just have to manage the wired wired cable properly and this is pretty much suited for all sorts of audio recording especially if you want to level up your audio recording compared to the internal recorders of your video camera and i highly recommend that if you are seriously considering content creation be it for youtube or any other social media platform where audio is going to be important you seriously invest in a external microphone and for beginners i think a lavalier a lav mic is a great solution all right that's it for this video guys we are going to compare and make more videos on other types of microphones i have a shotgun microphone i have a condenser microphone i have a wireless microphone i have a field recorder and i know i know don't ask me why i have so many microphones but i have experience of using all these microphones so i'm going to make individual uh, reviews about individual microphones and then we'll do a mega comparison so if you want to see that definitely subscribe on this channel let me know what your thoughts are on lav mics and how you use lav mics or if you have external microphones let me know in the comments what your experience is if you have any queries about microphones definitely put them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one peace